Hi guys, just another very quick video. The sunset tonight is pretty nice. It's been pretty cloudy all day and overcast. So I've seen some colour in the sky a little bit earlier. Um, and now it's really starting to illuminate behind us here. Now I'm down at, hold on because I am just taking a little exposure. I'm down at this, which is a World War II gun on the cliff tops in South Shields. And it's beautiful facing the, the sunset. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is I've got the 10 stop ND filter on the front of the Samyang 12mm. I've got the F uh, <laughs> aperture at 2 and what I'm doing is I'm doing a 30 second exposure just to get some movement in these clouds here. Now I've already taken a couple of single exposures and I'm just trying the ND filter just to see what it looks like and it looks pretty nice. These are raw images by the way. I'm shooting 30 second exposures, ISO 640. Manual control, manual focus, and I'm gonna do another quick one just there. In fact, notice I'm gonna notch the ISO down to 500. Two second delay. And then this color here, the nice reds and oranges, will hopefully spread to these clouds here and this one here. Sunset is in a few, a few minutes, so they can already start to see these clouds here starting to, to orange, orange up, color up. It looks a bit better. I look better in post processing, like. For my single shots without the ND filter on, I've got F4 and the reason for that is for to give some nice sharpness across the image. I'm doing a 13 second, 13th per second exposure at 640 ISO. changed my composition here okay because the best of the color is actually in the south west so I've got the east over here north over there and we've got the south over here and I thought I'm gonna try and get this image here now I've got it on portrait which lends itself better to that colour going up and down there, so I've got the whole cannon in. And that's a uh, so it's so bright here, but I'll show you in post processing at the end of the film. Uh, that that has picked up some really nice kind of colour detail in those clouds, and they've kind of uh, wispy. So I've got an ISO 500, so I'm going to take that down to 400 and I'm going to put the exposure time to 50 seconds and that will allow that colour to move, the wispiness to move while the colour and the clouds move and now the colour is starting to spread over here. So I might go back over there and get the original image but what a beautiful sunset for it not really been a very bright day and I'm really looking forward to getting this image on the computer because even though this cannon is full of graffiti it's got quite a lot of history to it and this area 
area around here. Time team actually done a special on it, so if you do want to kind of look at that, it's worth watching with, uh, with some of the local history about what this used to be and, and whatnot. So let's see this 50 seconds. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Goodbye now. So we're a good 20 odd minutes after sunset and the colour just keeps getting better and better and better. It's pretty beautiful to be honest. I'm still doing longer exposures uh, with the ND filter on, but that colour is just superb. It's so deep red. Gorgeous, so nice. I was just about to head home as well, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> just pays you for to stay that little bit longer. I'm going a little bit extreme with this one. It is a <laughs> two minute exposure, okay, and the ISO is 800 F2 with a 10 stop ND filter on. The reason for the two minutes, I mean, I've done up to 50 seconds with this scene here, with some beautiful detail in the clouds. Lovely color. The two minutes will ex exaggerate that. It will make it more pronounced, I hope. Um, I'm just not entirely sure I've got the ISO right. It should be either a little bit, could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but I'll find out in 47 seconds what that comes out like it's just experimentation really and the experimentation is something i've never really done much with the nd filters but i think just to add something a little bit more to the scene it's there as an option and it's there as something that i want to try uh because i've got the nd filters there the only cheap I got uh, three of them. I can't remember how much, but three for each one of the lenses that I've got. And they were from K and F Concept filters. And I've got no issues with them whatsoever. They're a really good lens. And let's see what it comes out like here. Two minutes. Oh, wow. Now it does look good. The clouds look amazing. But it's a little, the cannon's a little bit dark. Now I am shooting raw. So there's a good potential there that when I lighten this foreground up, you'll be able to see a little bit more of the cannon, but that two sec, uh, two minute exposure, it's came out pretty good like. There we go, look. I've got some kind of vignette actually on the, on the corners. I should be able to sort that out in post-processing like. <laughs>